Okay, guys, welcome to another week of Sea Suns at Home. This week we've got a fairly Greek inspired kind of menu for you. Let's uh, get stuck in with the starter. So, in here, we've got some more of those lovely micro herbs from the Shropshire Micro Farm. Some more of the Worcester tomatoes from Drew's. These lovely little Marish Bard potatoes. Some tzatziki and a courgette and Applebee's Cheshire fritter mix. Courgettes from Hare Hill. Okay, so first thing we're going to do, turn our pan on, a, a medium-high kind of heat. Okay, in the meantime, if my faithful assistant gets me a mixing bowl so I can mix my potato salad. Yeah, okay, well, let's make the potato salad first then. Very easy. Potatoes in. And then plenty of this lovely tzatziki. And literally... Going to mix that together. Okay, next job. We're going to do our tomatoes. So, yeah, I think we'll do them quite chunky as we have been doing them. So, they're going to look nice on the plate. A bit of basil, I'll just chuck on there. And plenty of salt again. And some of this lovely Greek olive oil from the olive press. Okay, now we need to start our fritters. So it's just smoking, turn it down a little bit. It shouldn't be burning, but I'll just show you there's quite a bit of oil in there. So it's kind of a shallow, shallow fry. We're going to take our fritter. I can give it a good mix before we start frying. Just to get any liquid that has come out back into it. Then you've got a choice really. You can either split it into four or six, or like I'm going to do, just into two. I'll so say go, go for a bit of height to start with and then squash it down. So these are cooking. Yeah. Uh, that's done, those are salting. We're nearly ready to plate up. Once it's golden on one side, it should be relatively easy to flip over. There we go. Okay, so colour up the other side. I'm going to give it two minutes, one to two minutes, and we'll start plating. So, I think the first thing, put down our kind of tzatziki potato salad, maybe slightly to one side. And then, just got our tomatoes around. Try and show some of that colour off. Lift the colours up. Just to cap some of the oil that might be on the bottom here. Okay, so then we make a space for our fritter. Yeah, I think we'll just try and get a bit of height on there. And then some of our honey dressing. Should bring it all together quite nicely. And if you've got some olive oil, oh, I recommend a bit of olive oil. You might even get a bit of olive oil in the uh, in the packs. 